What you'll see tonight is matches with a time limit and a five minute overtime for the championship match. Battle Cage presents Extreme Fighting. And we are ready to go. Hello, everybody. I'm Dave Fonsepa. We're all excited for this match tonight. This cross martial arts reference here. The things he brings to this competition, his past. His past is that he is the grandson of the great Carl Carlos Gracie. And he just knows exactly what he has to do to keep that great chain of being ideology going. The Gracies, their own family, they've got their own style. They have been the kings of kickboxing. And there you see in there, Health Gracie getting ready for the final moments here, stretching. Nice 12 0 record there. He looks pretty relaxed there, John. Oh, he's so relaxed. He was in the, uh, the restaurant tonight just sitting there socializing. Well, we've seen many of these martial arts combatants as they have been relaxed on the planes, talking to their people, really not that affected as they get into themselves, more or less a one on one relationship with their mind here getting ready. Uh, they're totally involved with that kind of psychological preparation. In Battle Cade, all the Gracies and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighters want to prove more for the world. So my martial arts is better than you are martial arts. That's why we could be here. Or we'll just prove it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, in the legendary Gracie family, Health Gracie. Well, there is Health Gracie coming in here, and John, definitely the look of a winner. Uh, you have no idea what you're going to see here. This is the most dominating influence on 159 pounds you have ever witnessed. This boy is a spectacle. Now, he might look like not the, not the most conditioned bodybuilder in the world, but this is an aerobic machine. This boy goes and goes and goes. Well, sometimes bodybuilding may not be the answer anyway because it will affect your flexibility. He looks like he's perfectly honed that way. It's the most, it's the most interesting fighter you're going to see in a long, long time. He upholds the heritage in a way that you wouldn't believe. As you get a good look at him and his opponent tonight, Mikado Morooko comes in here knowing that he has to defeat a member of the legendary Gracie family. He's a kicking specialist, a totally different style. Let's take a look at him. This is uh, something Nobody can do but us. Uh, we have a special technique, a skill. So this is, uh, so, some people say this is the uh, same as street fight, but I don't think so. This is a uh, total martial arts, I can say that. And his opponent coming to the ring now from Sapporo, Japan, Makota Murioko. his entrance they very have the confident that he's more stocky built here we've got a contract he's a kicker so he's going to have thicker waist from lifting his legs than the brazilians do but this guy can jam but you watch how crazy he's going to come running across that ring like you've never seen probably throw a low kick and try to get the tackle this boy rocks he told you all that huh no i've done it to <laughs> me before <laughs> And John Peretti knows firsthand, having seen these fighters and have made this match, Ralph Gracie, 12-0, and 
Health going against Makoto Motohongo, 8 and 0. Oh. One of the O's must go in this lightweight division, 159 and under. We're ready to go now. Sapporo, Japan, under the watchful eye of Benny the Jet or Kidez, with a record of 8-0. He is the grand champion of game shoot wrestling in Japan, with a black belt in Kirokai Shin Karate and Judo. He is 27 years old, standing 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in tonight at 159 pounds, Makota Marioko. Introducing your referee for this evening, ex-world champion in Russian Sambo and Judo, an undefeated five-time world bare-knuckled no-rules champion from Armenia, Gokar Chivichian. Well, the stage is set. We're ready to go here. John, now what does Motooko have to take away from Gracie here? Well, he's got to be more aggressive, and he's got to try to stop the onslaught. But when you see this whirlwind start, you know, just, just be ready. Hold on to your seats, because this guy can rock. That's what I said. You really have to worry about the early going when you face him. Try to get out of the early stages. There he comes. See the style difference right away. Heavy, heavy right front foot, heavy left front foot. And look, he punches. And Gracie just showing something here. Rice to the head. You see the kicks attempted there by Motooko right in front of us here. Now he tries to spin. Right. See the space. Big right hand and the counter. And there's the beginning of the fight right there. The That's the position he wants to be in. He's been there a million times. He turned his back. The worst thing he can do to a Gracie. Turned his back. Made it so easy. He's got his neck. This fight is over. Wow. Very this fight is over. He'll tap out. to the neck. No, no. Submission is what you want. He tries to come back. He has no idea how to escape from this position. And that's out of the fight. John, very well described by you. He had no... He's unconscious. I he helped him right out. Well, keep them out of the ring. Out of there's the ring. a little bit of commotion comes in there now. So in important, that first hold... You cannot let the guy get on top of you. That was instantaneous, what Gracie did. Yeah, just make sure you understand that this happens in judo all the time. Okay, guys get choked out. They are not losing their air. It's just blood to the head. And the quick strangulation. You saw the referee right on top of that, too. Immediately looking for that. Oh, he's a great referee. He really knows what he's doing. No, he's exactly. just a terrific referee. He knew exactly what had to get done there and he completed his act right there. Well, you face a Gracie legendary performer like that, and now they're talking to Muda Oko. As Gokar did a nice job staying right on top of it. He had good position there to observe the hold. I guess the referee has to make sure he's not blocked out by any particular angle. He knows exactly what he's doing. Well, this is the nightmare that Muda Oko faced right away. Gracie gets on top here, and he starts to pound the neck, John. Well, he put the hooks in. You see the legs, those are the hooks. That's the control factor. If you don't remove the hooks, then the choke comes. As soon as the hooks are in, you have to remove them. If you get in a position like that, he's already going unconscious. He tries in futility to punch to the face. He has just not practiced escaping from a hold like this from such an anaconda like this boy. I think people watching for the first time would be amazed that you can put a person unconscious that fast with one hole. Oh yeah, I mean, he's closing off the blood to each side of his head. Here we go again. Well, this is your second look at it. And Gracie- Watch the big right hand. Watches, Bing. watches as his opponent tries to cook the kicks 
everything like that. He cannot get Gracie off balance. As Muda Oko looking for space. Right hand by Gracie, the first takedown right there. And actually, at this point, you're sensing the fight might be over here. I said it immediately. I mean, he goes to his back. He's just playing around by punching him. The punching is a distraction to get inside and to get that beautiful rear naked on his neck. Once Muda Oko had been taken down, what was his move to try? You, you can't let the legs get planted there. I guess that was key. As soon as he gets the hooks in, your game is over. You know, that Gene LaBelle type uh, finishing hold, boy, you know, that rear naked is a killer. It takes two seconds. That might have taken two and a half. Well, once you get it going, that's it. Well, now for the decision of the time, here's ring announcer Scott Berlinger. Ladies and, ladies and we are on mic. He's got no mic. He's going through the Ladies mechanics. And gentlemen, and in there the first is. bout, in 40 seconds of the first, winner by submission, Health Gracie. So Health Gracie, to no surprise for industry observers, makes very fast work here in our opening bout and shows you, John, the type of power and the type of moves that uh, constitute explosiveness and also uh, you have to be very impressed with his balance here. Oh, and spatial, you know. He really understands distance. Morocco tries to throw that, that little roundhouse kick to the leg. He steps back away from it. He moves in right after the leg goes down. These guys practice this stuff in their sleep. Well, what was he keying off that he was able to turn it that quickly? He was looking for the next kick and it, it did.